what's up guys welcome to my kitchen <laughs> so I originally planned on doing this mukbang challenge video where I talked about my health and talked about my like health journey and all this stuff but honestly like I did that video and I looked at the footage and your girl was not satisfied. So instead of that video, I decided that I was gonna go ahead and just kind of talk to you guys organically to the camera. While I'm cooking actually, I'm actually making some spaghetti and it's like nothing special about the spaghetti I'm about to make right now. So I'm not gonna really show y'all, but I just thought it would be cool to, as I'm cooking, talk to you guys. So I literally took a like healthy step, a conscious step, last year so right after my birthday i made the conscious decision to go vegetarian i put it in quotes because i'm not full-blown vegetarian so i still eat chicken i eat turkey and i also eat seafood whether it's shrimp fish all of that stuff but i don't eat pork and i don't eat beef so making that decision um, i feel like has been very great for me um when i found that when i was eating pork whether it's like bacon or whatever and i'm eating beef whether it was you know anything italian beefs or burgers or whatever i just really felt weighed down i felt like my um energy levels just weren't the same i felt like i was bloated a lot of the times i felt kind of sick and then i would have to go to the restroom if you know what i mean there would be a lot of different contributing factors that i felt like my health was in jeopardy when i would be eating all these different things i also cut out a lot of dairy i don't drink milk I still indulge in cheese here and there, um, but I try to keep it at minimal consumption as much as possible. Since I don't drink milk anymore, I actually have been drinking a lot of almond milk. Almond milk has been my go-to when it comes to substituting anything dairy-like as far as milk is concerned. Um, I haven't tried a lot of other ones, but I am definitely open to trying. Right now, I've been loving almond milk, and I specifically get the one that is vanilla-based. Right now, I've been drinking um, Silk, but I also shop at Walmart a lot of the time, and I'll get their great value branded one um and it works perfectly fine this one's actually really flavorful because it's very vanilla so it's like very rich vanilla sweet taste um i sometimes get the one that is no sugar or unsweetened but to be honest i've been getting the ones that are sweeter just because it tastes better to me i like the trader joe brand as well i definitely love the um blueberry one that they have it's like a blueberry lavender oh my god it tastes so great especially in blueberry and raspberry smoothies and that is also another thing that i've been doing so i also make smoothies a lot of the time and i'll use that as a meal supp like substitute supplement <laughs> What's I gonna say? I'll use it as a substitute for a meal, like a meal replacement type of thing. And I'll put flax seeds in it, which definitely makes it a little more thick. And it also kind of gives it, or it gives me a more full type of feeling. Um, but yeah, smoothies have been like a part of my like go-to as of lately. And I feel like, you know, that just makes me feel more energized and not as weighed down. I've been trying to drink tons of water, but I, to be honest, am not as great at drinking water. But I know that that is something that will also help me flush my system and just kind of give me you know that pure it, you know it rejuvenate y'all know what I'm trying to say anyway so outside of that so I cut my milk consumption um I cut out pork and beef but then I also cut out pop and if you're not from the midwest you probably call it soda I cut out soda pop because it has a lot of sugar in it and it's just not good for you especially if you drink like colas and pepsis and stuff like that the darker um pops have a lot of that like food coloring and like dyes and all that stuff and it's just not good for your system so i decided to just clear it cut that out um here and there i will drink a ginger ale but typically if i'm drinking ginger ale it's like for an upset stomach situation or it's to mix with liquor to be honest and like eh, i can do without it i do love the taste of ginger ale but it's not an everyday consumption so cutting that out has really caused um i feel like an effect of just me and my overall appearance like all of those different factors i feel like it has helped me contribute to losing weight to just feeling more fit to feeling more energized we have also incorporated a more like serious workout regimen i feel like beforehand i was relying on like my walking abilities <laughs> because i will walk 
obviously a lot i work downtown chicago so i would walk around downtown a lot your girl was walking and i mean that was great but i felt like you know what in september i decided you know what i really want to get a trainer and so i got a trainer we started working out heavy and i was working out with him i want to say three to four times out of the week monday i'll be meeting with him for the first time this year and i'm super excited um i actually was working out with him at a specific gym and um so i was just paying him and i would only go to the gym with him when um we would work out because i didn't have a gym membership and i was just paying him so now in 2020 i actually went to the gym got my own membership and have been going by myself and it's been a challenge because i'm not like super comfortable at the gym it's been a challenge but i've also been like you know what we're gonna like we're gonna be fearless in this gym so <laughs> i like do a lot of things and i'm trying to retain a lot of things that he's taught me um, from last year and try to implement those in my workout regimen when I go. I can't wait to continue this journey with him because um, I just know that I'll see more results, you know, when I have like an actual disciplined workout regimen. My food that I've been eating lately has been a lot of plant-based things. I'm really excited about it. I've been eating a lot of fajitas, tacos. Mexican food is actually one of my favorite things. So to actually cook it at home has been very, very fulfilling for me. I've never, ever, 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 ever once in my life wanted to be a person who actually cooked. To be honest, like I actually hated cooking. I, and it wasn't something that was just like, oh, I'm horrible at cooking. It was just like, it just wasn't fun for me. Like other people feel like it's relaxing and you know, they just want to come home and cook a nice meal and blah, blah, blah. Uh, your girl was like, uh, no. So I'll let my partner do that. <laughs> or I'll eat out or I go to a restaurant or order in. Since I've become vegetarian, I feel like it's, or semi-vegetarian, it's been way easier to cook my own meals than to dissect menus and try to figure out what I can and can't eat and what, you know, what will, you know, be good for me and what won't. So I've actually just really just, you know, put it in my own hands. So I've been going grocery shopping, kind of bi-weekly um just getting enough stuff so that i don't i'm not wasteful but i go and i get a lot of plant-based things whether it's like you know vegetables i'm gonna put in a salad or vegetables that i'm gonna saute and cook up um, i get a lot of fruits especially frozen fruits and stuff like that for my smoothies um and then i sometimes like try to create like meals and stuff like that so i'm making spaghetti right now which is one of my favorite dishes that either i make or in general i just really like italian food so if it's not mexican food it's italian food that i really like and it's obviously carved carved <laughs> it's obviously heavy on carbs so it's not the healthiest so I try not to eat it as often but it's been a while and I'm kind of craving you know some wine and spaghetti you guys are gonna see some of the meals that I've been creating over the course of like the last couple of months I used to not want to cook because I felt like it was gonna take forever and I felt like those are the meals that like yeah my mom and grandma and everybody in my family made where it's like you know this all-day experience my meals are more so like 30 or less okay we don't have time to be in the kitchen for hours preparing all this stuff like no so I can show you guys some of the meals that I've made um but yeah it's just been a journey I'm super excited I don't know what this series on my channel is gonna look like I'm not sure if I'm gonna take you with the gym to the gym with me or if I'm gonna show you like a recipe of something that I've like found and want to share I don't really know you guys can let me know down below what you're looking for um what you kind of feel like would be fun for me to share with you guys um but yeah I'm super excited it. Um, I will say this when I moved back to Chicago which if you guys did not know where I'm from or anything like that hello I'm Renee and I live in Chicago um, <laughs> I moved back in 2018 and in 2018 um, I was on this journey and still am on this journey of finding happiness and one of the things that I feel that is going to complete my happiness is to be healthier and in that I made you know all these different decisions and all these different steps to like get healthier um, I've lost a ton of weight and if you even look at like some of my previous videos um, you'll see like my face is definitely more slim compared to back then um, my waistline is definitely smaller everything is definitely like slimmed down chiseled down a little bit more and I can't wait to like continue that I don't have a specific set like weight that I'm trying to get to I don't have a specific like pant size or anything like that that I'm trying to get to I really just want to feel super confident super healthy 
and sexy you know in my own skin and not feel confined in a body that I don't feel comfortable in you know but let me get to these noodles because they're boiling and I don't want no soggy noodles I want my noodles to be on point so <laughs> you'll see the rest of my recipes good morning so I basically just diced up one banana um, and then I have some strawberry slices this is from the brand Dole but you can totally get them from any brand um, these are in the frozen section so they are frozen um, and then I have some baby spinach here which I will add a little bit you can't really taste the spinach in your smoothie honestly um, I have some almond milk here this is the vanilla one it, this one is not the unsweet version so it definitely gives you a little more sugary sweet taste and then I just recently picked this one up from Trader Joe and it is also an almond milk um, but it has blueberry lavender the next thing that is really important I think in these um, smoothies especially to make your smoothie thicker and or also a actual meal um, so that you will be at least full for a few hours so I'm gonna mix all of these up together and then I'll show you my smoothie in the end but I'm gonna go ahead and start blending If I don't put my smoothies in a mason jar, I typically like to use these. Um, this is from Starbucks, and it is one of those containers that keeps your um, drinks cold. And then I just drink my drink, and that is my breakfast. Super easy. I'm done making my breakfast let me show you guys what I've got going all right so this is my breakfast I have the uh, egg omelet I didn't put any cheese in it because I did add cheese to the hash browns and I didn't want to overdo it and then I just had a little baby taste of this waffle y'all that tastes so good I don't even need anything like it doesn't need any syrup or anything but of course I'm gonna put some syrup on there um, I just have this one right here which is a maple agave syrup and then I have my tea which is the chamomile the cozy chamomile from Bigelow so yeah this is my breakfast I'm gonna sit down eat 